These are the hits ranked by Billboard magazine. Now we're up to an AT40 Extra. It's one of the few songs in the rock era to hit number one twice. Please, Mr. Postman. There must be some word today. And believe it or not, it was co-written by a mailman. His name is Freddie Gorman, and his story begins back in 1957 in Detroit. Freddie had just finished high school, and he immediately went to work for the U.S. Postal Service. One day, a friend named Brian Holland called him up, said he was writing a song for a group called the Marvelettes. It was called Please, Mr. Postman. And since Freddie was a mailman, he thought he might be able to help him with some of the lyrics. Well, Freddie had a lot of great real-life experience to draw on. For example, Freddie says, People were always asking me to double-check my bag. And that's how I got the line, Dear Mr. Postman, look and see, is there a letter in your bag for me? Well, in 1961, Please Mr. Postman was a number one hit for the Marvelettes, the first number one on the Motown label. Brian Holland, of course, went on to become one-third of the legendary songwriting team of Holland Dozier Holland. And mailman Freddie Gorman, well, he kept writing. Quit his postal job, started a vocal group in 1964, and called them the Originals. By 1970, they scored a couple top 40 hits. But after a few years, the group hit some hard times and they broke up. Fred Gorman then rejoined the Postal Service. Today, he's a mail carrier in Los Angeles, but he still writes music. And one day recently, while Freddie was delivering some mail to a customer, the man, as a joke, started singing, Please, Mr. Postman. He said to Freddie, Bet you wish you'd written that song. And Freddie just turned with a satisfied grin and said, I did. Here it is as an AT40 Extra, one of the few songs to hit number one twice, as a remake in 1975 by The Carpenters and with this original, co-written by mailman Freddie Gorman. Please, Mr. Postman. The first number one song for Motown Records, The Marvelettes and Please, Mr. Postman, co-written by mailman Freddie Gorman. And that's an AT40 Extra as the countdown rocks on. Casey's Coast to Coast.